Gloria and the play inside of mind, and we defeated that critic without having to look it up because I was confused. So, yeah, we're here with uh, another bit of Psychonauts. So, I think we're... Okay, now we're gonna see if we can help um, Boyd in the main yard. That's what we're gonna try and do. I don't think we can, but we're gonna see if... Uh, what's available to us. That's Gloria. Oh, that's right, he wants to try and burn that down. Hey, boy. Why are you trying to burn down the asylum? I am the milkman. Yep. Okay, he's lost beyond recognition. In fact, could I...? I don't think I can. I can, but what benefits does this reap? Oh! Not much to do here except clean up all the cobwebs, collect all the figments, and get any vaults that are left. Okay, so if that's it... Why am I saying this then? Hey boy, why are you trying to burn down the asylum? I am the milkman. My employer has commissioned me to deliver this milk to whitewash what went on here. I make sure no evidence is left of anything except for milk. I cannot rest until I have made my final delivery. My milk is delicious. Must make final delivery. Must make final delivery. And all he's doing. Ow, oh, okay, he can help me too. Gotta have their milk. Hey, boy. Why are you trying to burn down the asylum? I am the milkman. My employer has commissioned me to deliver this milk to you. The bright side, free arrowheads. But yeah, if there's no point other than that, I'll just get out. Man, these things smell terrible. Am I sure I want to do this? Yes, I want to go back to the real world that badly. I've never been near smelling salts, but I can't imagine that they're pleasant. Right, so we have to go to the little cave by where Gloria was. Do this because it's faster and looks fun. Yeah! Can I smash anything here? I can. Not really any benefits to it. Oh, that's why I just came out. Ah, there's another brain in the jar up there. Ha! <laughs> As predicted. But how the hell do I get up there? Oh, I think I know. Damn it. Actually, not damn it. Not damn it. How Chloe sneezed this one through that helmet will never know. Yeah, she does wear that all the time. Excuse me, sir? My name is Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, good move, mate. Oh, uh, excuse me. Mr. Bonaparte. Shh. I only think I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. Do not listen to the weakling. He denies his lineage because he feels it. You'll have to excuse me. I am busy losing a battle with my sanity here. For France! Le jeu de gloire est arrivé! Okay. I like your jacket. Very strappy. You want it? You can have it. Just help me undo these buckles in the back and I'll... Get... What are you doing? The uniform up. This is the worst. I hate this stupid game. 
Oh, okay, so I can hit those, but they don't do anything. <laughs> right, um... Greetings, Dr. You. Lobotto. Up to the secret laboratory, then, is it? One moment. You're not Dr. Lobotto. My eyes may be half gone, but I would recognize the mad doctor anywhere. He's got a stone-cold face a man doesn't easily forget. He wears a beastly smock, covered in thick straps like an electric chair. And in the place where his hand should be, there's nothing but a gleaming metal claw. So if I'm not mistaken, you're not Dr. Lobotto, you don't pay my salary, so kindly back away from my elevator and die. Thank you, sir. Oh! Okay. I hear you. Shrek the orderly into letting me on the elevator. Find a claw for the lab butter costume. Find lab coat. Back on your horse, soldier. Do it sweet. Find a face. What's wrong with mine? Just because a car. Right, so. Does it tell me how to do it? Does it tell me where to go? Uh, map range, so... Technically, no. Uh... Doesn't mean I'm not watching. Okay, the items have to be close. Never ask for this war. What you painting there? That is my patron, my psychiatrist, my warden. Looks like Dr. Lobato to me. Is he the one who chained you up? The doctor won't let me go until I complete my treatment. So why don't you just finish the painting and go home? Why don't I just... Sometimes you just have to... Huh. You painted a bullfight over the doctor's face. Why a bullfight? Huh? Huh, Edgar, why do you... Every time! Every time it is the same! The matador! The bull! How I despise you both! But my hands won't let you go. Ah! That is why I am here, chained in more ways than you can see. A prisoner of art. A prisoner of art. Well, uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. You good? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> How's that painting of Dr. Lobato coming along? You know, I'll deliver it for you as soon as it's finished. Silence! I am conceptualizing. I do like his tattoos. I also look, love how he still sort of looks somehow out of place and like he fits in. He's the only character I've seen with tattoos and like a biker jacket. Try my patience, Rasputin. I can get them back up quick. Great. Now what am I supposed to do? It's not like I can reach a regular restroom when I am all chained up like this. Wait, did I not cover his toilet? Apologies, that wasn't cricket. Crap! Ugh. Chaps, what is up, eh? Huh? 
How high can I go? I think that's the limit then. Okay. Wait, can I call him this? I cannot. Alright then, well, let's try and use the mind door on... on Edgar, I think his name was. So we can get out what of is this? Are you working on an abstract piece? Nice use of color. Do you agree? It's a very pretty looking door to the mind. That's an impressive house of cards you're building there. And still, not high enough to reach the sky and free her from her prison. Who is she? I only know that she is beautiful. Perfect. And sad. All day she cries rose petal tears. And I can do nothing to help her because my creation lacks something. And it will not stand against the bull. What bull? El. Somewhere along the way, I feel that I lost something important, but I do not know. I think it's your queens. You want me to go look for them? Bring me any cards you find. I must complete this tower. Yes. Uh <laughs> I can't be the only one who saw that the ball looked exactly like Edgar. Like, he's even got his beard and everything. Like, El Odio looks like him. There's the Matador. So right? Poor little guy. Hmm, little nick on the frame. Uh. Maybe I can cover that up with a price tag or something. Also, as someone who's a big fan of the movie Coco and sort of dabbles with the Book of Life, the movie, I really love this um, Cinco de Mayo inspired thing. Yes, yes. Uh, Please. Enjoy your new art there. Enjoy your new art there. I must ask, is this a puzzle? Oh, that's cool. Now I can get Edgar's cards. That's actually really sick. I'm, all, I'm always impressed by this game. Like, not only is it pretty to look at, like, for its time, it's well written, surprisingly emotional, and it's, like, it's very technically sound, too, for doing things like that. Lots of fire hits, thank you very much. Alright, I'm gonna guess I can't get hit by the ball. I'll try to talk to you though. Have you s uh, yeah. Really big playing cards around here? Now that takes me back. Poker night with the guys. Man, I miss those dogs. <laughs> This is gonna make a reference to the dogs playing poker meme painting. Uh huh. So the cards, you know where they are? 
Oh, right. Well, I do know about these four lost queens, but that's all. Can't do much with four queens, can you? Those are exactly the cards I need. Where are they? Forget about it. They're guarded by some pretty nasty characters. Not to mention El Odio. You're better off just hanging out here and turning your head just a teensy bit to the left. Where did you say those cards were again? Forget about it. They're guarded by some pretty nasty characters. Not to mention El Odio. Okay. I think I hate that bull a lot. Oh, trust me. You'll hate him even more as time goes by. When he first trapped me in this alley, I thought he was only mildly annoying. What do you mean, trapped? Are you a prisoner of art just like Edgar? I'm a prisoner of that stupid bull. I don't want to get gored, so I hide out in the alley like a, like a low-down dog. Okay, promise me you won't take this the wrong way. But you are a dog. Yeah, but I'm a St. Bernard, man. I should be up in the highlands above the tree line. Take a brandy around my friggin' neck. Seeing the world and finding more things to paint than this junk. Okay, I'm off. Well, see ya. Keep off the street now. This guy. Ah, okay. So, whenever I feel a rumbling, just stay covered. Can I climb up you? I can. Oh, crumbs. Ah! Oh. Shit. I need okay. trunk tag for this guy. Save time. Whoa, I just noticed the ball's purple. Alright, what purpose does this serve? Oh, now there's a platform here. Ah, crap. Okay. Whoa. Alright. I always keep forgetting how unwieldy the ball can be. What am I doing? Where am I going? Ah, oh, crap. Spanish accountants. Okay, I was trying to avoid that. So I just have to look for these cards. Dodged him. Don't know how. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot to switch to my normal range thing. A lot of gates. And I can't... Oh, come on, I should be able to go over that, man. Oh, crap. Okay. Point taken, we keep looking. Oh wait, this is the wrong way.
Shit. Shit, no, uh. fuck, bollocks. That's just for a back tag, though. That's nothing really special. I see a card. La Lucha. Oh, he jumped in. I was just jumping to like, go to the ladder. From the Thriller in Manila, Iowa, Tiger. Wake up, little man. Time to go nighty night. I am awake. Good, because it is bedtime for you, snack size. What are you talking about? You will fight me for my card, yes? Well, I am looking for some cards. Then, small fry, I am afraid the Sandman is going to have to bend way over to reach you because you are so awfully itty bitty. And then... All right, I get it. Just shut up and let's go. Then I will shut up, but only so I can enjoy the <laughs> microscopic spectacle of your attempts to make me shut up. I look quite of you. I just blast you. Okay, so that doesn't work, so I just have to hit him. I just noticed a couple of other things, like obviously I noticed Raz's suit's a different, like, it's got a pattern on it first of all, but his goggles are like glowing purple, his hands and his, like, oh crap. And his, like, um, chest shirt thing, glowing blue. Kitty! Ow! Bad kitty. I don't know if this is the only thing I can do. I do like that there's pro wrestling signs, that's a good touch. Wait, is... Are the ring ropes designed to look like a tiger's... Oh, that's what he does when he gets you. Okay. And now we know. Alright. Also, I love the, like, wrestling portraits for us both. And the fact that we both have health bars. There's so many cool things I love about this world already. And they just keep adding to it. Anyway, I like the fact that when he said he was going to shut up, he started using some big words. <laughs> Keep getting bumped and I don't like it. Okay. It's alright, I've almost got him. He's causing me a lot of pain. Another thing I noticed, that tiger and Edgar have very similar body shape. Oh, I didn't mean to this climb on the cards. Real pain in the butt to get. Perfect. 
one step closer to her. Please, boy, I must have those queens. Yeah, I've got you one. Got yeah, a couple of these. That's where I just was, so... Uh, Shouldn't go there again. If that was close, that means there's got to be a hard assignment. And spades that almost hit me. Yeah. Okay, so this is where I entered. So, hopefully, he's taking me on the right path. Uh. Okay, this is where I was last time. I'm. Yep. Oh, up. Okay, not down. There we go. Ah! Oh, and every time you breeze past? Damn. Hell of a game, Edelman. Alright. Okay, hopefully this path leads to some goodies. There's a new person. I don't like how this feels like the first world, uh, where they genuinely went out of the way to change not just how Raz looks, but how the normal enemy looks too. Another rose and a and a guitar. Yeah, I saw another dog selling art up the street. Are you guys a chain? Ah, you've met my compadres. When we were young art dogs, we would run wild in the street together. But now... Why don't you guys just make a run for it? You couldn't understand. El Odio imprisons us all. Art is the only escape. And today is the only day that it's going to be this cheap. All these prices go up tomorrow because of tourist season. Ah. Could you tell me again about your dog friends? Ah, you've met my compadre, but now... Hey, can you fight bulls? I have a bull problem. Sorry, artist here, delicate hands. And anyway, if you are talking about El Odio, well, there is of course only one man who could handle that much bull. <laughs> who can do it? Who can fight El Odio? I speak of no other than Dingo Inflagrante, the infamous Matador playboy. Alas, they would never ask him to help. Not in a million years. Dingo Inflagrante. And why won't they ask Dingo to help? Is he expensive? No, because what happened between him and Edgar? Quite a scandal. What? What happened between Dingo and Edgar? Tragedy, betrayal, art, love. Pain. Nothing you want to know about. Come on, tell me. What's the big scandal? Listen, I deal in truth and beauty, not dirt. But maybe if you had bought some art, then I'd have to come up with some small talk while we're making change and, you know. So you, okay, so I actually have to buy these before I can say anything. <coughs> Pearls before swine. <coughs> what? Nothing. Now then, you will of course want something else. Oh, thank God. Yeah, do you have anywhere I, I can hang like this? I'm being looted. Try to handle it only by the edges. Okay, I bought some art. 
and give me the dirt on Dingo. <laughs> okay, here's how I heard it. Years ago, when Edgar was a world-renowned painter, he was commissioned by Dingo to immortalize him in black velvet. But while he was sitting for the portrait, Dingo met Edgar's beautiful wife, who was none other than the top flamenco dancer, Lampita Passionado. He seduced the dancer, and the two ran off together, leaving Edgar with the unfinished painting and a broken heart. Since then, Edgar thinks of nothing but the treacherous pair, and since then, our streets have been ruled by El Odio. Whoa, that's a great story. You should do a painting about it. Yes, that's what we need around here. Some paintings of dingo and bulls. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> I think that dingo sounds like a jerk. Ah, uh, he gets an unfair rap because of his looks. As a collie, I know how hard it is to be resented for your beauty. It's like being forced to wear a golden robe with a diamond kick me sign on the back. Must be tough. Yeah. I work it out through my painting. Gotta go. All right. Oh, thank God. I felt like I was being looted. Oh, I almost ran into... Oh! Queen of Hearts? I thought this would be safe for last. Introducing, fresh from an astonishing victory at the Killings in Billings, Dragon! Yow! What's that smell? That smells like fear, boy! Yeah, no, I mean that fart smell. That's fear! No, I'm talking about an actual smell. It's like if stink bombs laid eggs and then those went bad. That's sulfur! Uh, it's part of the dragon costume, kid. Right. Sulfur. Sure. Okay, so he's got a very different attack pattern to the tiger. Still has a grab attack. Oh! Okay, area effect fire attack. Hit my eye for that. It's basically bait, you know, Robodope. Which works because we're fighting in a wrestling ring. And I'm a dope. Luckily, whenever he does that, he only goes forward, so that's an easy one to avoid. Uh. Pardon me. Oh. Oh. Okay. There's no fire, it's like a quake that stuns me and then he attacks. That caused me a lot of pain. Not as much pain as my bunking is causing you. Bonk. <laughs> Missed both the attacks I went for. There we go. Soon they'll be dragging your ass out of here. <laughs> hey, are you awake? Did you hear that? Raz, as someone who also does puns, that was a good pun.